All right, guys, please excuse this angle and my appearance. My makeup is like halfway done um, and I'm rushing to finish it right now, but today's the day. I'm gonna cut my hair. I know it already looks pretty short. I cut it like a couple months ago and I did a pretty big chop for me, but today I'm gonna, I'm gonna really go for the chop. I'm thinking Bob. I'll insert some pictures or like a video or, or something of what I'm thinking of. But yeah, my hair appointment is in like 30 minutes. So it's a mad dash to get ready. I wanted to bring you guys along. I just thought that would be fun. And I've been thinking about doing this for a while. Like I said earlier, I did do a pretty big chop a couple months ago, a big chop for me, but I was too scared to like go all the way and do a bob. So now that I've thought about it for a couple months, I feel like I'm ready. We shall see how I feel about it when it's over and done with. I'm a little bit scared, but at the same time, I've been thinking about this for the last couple months now, and I'm at peace with however it turns out, because at the end of the day, it's just hair, it's gonna grow back, I feel like, you know, I'm almost 30 now and I feel secure enough with myself to handle a hairstyle that I don't like, if that makes sense. Like teenage me or early 20s me, if I ended up getting a haircut that I didn't like, it would totally shatter me. And now I feel less phased by like my physical insecurities, if that makes sense. So even if I end up not loving this haircut, the world's not gonna end and my hair will grow back and I'll be okay with it. I'll be able to live with it until it grows back. Okay, just need to do highlighter, setting spray, brush my teeth, and then I can get on the road so I'm not late for this appointment. I usually do like a lip liner just because I like the way that that makes my lips look, but I don't really have time for that today. So I'll probably just do chapstick. All right, you guys, I'm on my way to the salon. I'm about like seven minutes away, but I wanted to give an explanation as to why I've decided to chop my hair when I've never done this before in my adult life. I feel like there's a few different reasons. One, I've seen a lot of people like on TikTok with the short bob cut and I just think it looks so cute. So I've definitely been inspired by people I've seen online. And two, I kind of alluded to this earlier, but I feel like I'm at an age where I'm less reliant on my hair to feel secure. I think probably a lot of women relate to this, but growing up, I kind of hid behind my hair, especially when you're like a preteen, teenager, early 20s, you're thinking a lot about your insecurities. And for me, at least, having long hair was something I felt like I could hide behind. Like no matter what I was insecure about, I at least could feel good about my hair <laughs> and feel like pretty and feminine because I have long hair. Now that I'm almost 30, I just don't feel that way as much anymore. Like I feel secure enough with myself that, I don't know, I just feel like I could do anything with my hair and even if I don't love it, I'll still feel good about myself. Okay, I just got to the salon. Let's get one last look at my hair. It's not really very, very long right now. And now it's about to be really short. All right, guys, the cut has happened. You can't tell yet, but I have short hair. Are you ready to see it? Are you sure? Whoa, she's got short hair now. I'm like kind of in shock. I cannot stop like running my hands through it. That's like a habit I have anyway, is like I'm constantly messing with my hair. And especially now I'm like, Bleh! and like, it's so weird because I expect my hair to keep going. 
and it doesn't like it is not long enough for a ponytail anymore <laughs> whoa whoa I feel like I have very little emotion associated with my state of being right now I think I'm just processing <laughs> I don't regret doing it. I just don't recognize myself. I have never ever seen my hair this short again since I was like four and I don't remember that. I only remember pictures that I've seen. So yeah. One thing I will say is I would style my hair differently than how my stylist did it today just because my hair is pretty fine and thin. And so when I do it, I douse it in mousse and I like blow dry it up and use Velcro rollers so I can just like make it have more body. And so I'll probably end up doing that just so it's not quite so flat because I just think it needs something, right? I feel like it needs something, but I'm happy I did it. I'm really happy that I just went for it and it'll take some getting used to, but I'm excited to like try out different hairstyles now. Like I've seen on TikTok, I keep mentioning TikTok. I swear that's not the only thing I do in my free time, but on TikTok, I've seen girls like do little, two little ponytails like this. I think that could be cute. Um, I could also do like a half up, half down situation and let my face framing layers fall out a little bit but I just feel like there are a lot of possibilities with this that will be fun to explore hey Charlotte you want to come say hi what do you think of my haircut I don't think that she really cares do you care this is what she does. <laughs> okay, we'll do like a full body shot so you can really get the full effect of this new haircut. <laughs> My thing is like, does it look good to have an oversized sweater on or do I need something more like form fitting. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to get a whole new wardrobe because of this haircut, but it's just going to be interesting to figure out what looks best with this hairstyle. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching me chop my hair off. If you are on the fence about chopping your hair, one, I would say, don't do it impulsively. Like, you don't have, like, no one is forcing you to cut your hair. I know you feel like you want to do it tomorrow, but, like, maybe think about it. Because that's what I did. I thought about it for, like, two months. And I'm glad that I did. Because now I'm like, whew, this is a lot to process. And I thought about it. I decided, you know, if I don't like it, it's going to grow back. I did all the processing the last couple months so now I feel like I can be okay and not regret it <laughs> but yeah hopefully this is helpful to anyone who is thinking about chopping their hair and yeah I guess I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>